Hey everybody, Masaki here, and welcome back to another episode of A Link to the Past Randomizer. As you recall in the last one, we made a decent bit of progress having, um, in the past couple of videos, gone through and finished, like, the Swamp Palace and Skull Woods, but more importantly, having gone into Misery Mire with the hookshot and found the cape, and then took the cape and got the fire rod, and with that finished Skull Woods, and then proceeded to make our way through, proceeded to make our way through the Ice Palace. And Misery Mire's shed had the blue rod, and Misery Meyer had the cape, and then we got the Pegasus boots and the cane of Samaria, which is the red cane there. While going through the ice palace up to the point we did, but we had to stop because we ran out of bombs. Falling back into a room where you had to um, knock down two stealth bombs and blow them up with a bomb. And um, we're not going to go into back in Turbo Rock to get the shield because I went to check that out off screen. And because we haven't gotten any of the progressive shields that are um, laying about in the game yet, that was still going to be the blue shield. However, there is a spot where we can get a red shield. So let's make this a little quicker. Call a little birdie. And we're going to head to Kakariku. So, um... I still have to beat Moonlighter and m complete my first playthrough of Divinity 2. I am planning, I beat Bendy and I am planning to play through it with a little a couple extra things having beaten it that it opens up to use from the beginning of the game with, um, or for, I'm sorry, I do that as a October slash Halloween stream. If hopefully the computer's connection can handle streaming a slightly more intense 3D game like that. As I tried doing just like a very low tech, like cell shaded drawn game that wasn't even that like graphically heavy and with how iffy this computer's connection can be, it did not seem to even begin to be able to stream it. So we shall see how that goes. I'm sorry for the game being quiet, but just checking something quickly to make sure I go to the right area. And of course, I even forgot to talk to Zelda and have her heal me. Oh well. I'll grab a couple of hearts I can from here. And it should be enough as um we're not going to go back into the ice palace just yet. There is a spot where I can actually just purchase a blue shield and then Bomb and arrow upgrades are supposedly back where they normally are. I have to look into that because I'm not sure, but I've seen people randomize and have the upgrades for the bombs and the arrows be randomized into everything. But I don't know if that's been the case with my files. I guess I'll... I don't actually want to go down into Thieves Town. We want to go up into the forest here. And there is a merchant here somewhere that we are trying to find. Oop, nope, I don't want you. Oh, the heart wasn't nice. Oh, no, you don't. Let's, let's see if we can find where this merchant is. This is a, technically Skull Woods. And the merchants in the dark forest. I hate these guys how they just get right on you like a damn bug and then you can't even avoid taking a couple hits because they're freaking too damn close for you to actually hit them. Back off! Wow. Just darn nuts. Second here. Need to actually check something here. All right. All right. We 
it's going to go quiet for a second and then um, be paused. So just bear with me for a second. I will keep talking while I try to do this. I'm going to make sure I have the right spot. It does say Dark World, so sorry about that. I did actually accidentally go a little quiet there. Alright, so there is supposedly a shop here in the Dark World. Alright. Getting that mana refill is nice, and you can just charge through here now, thankfully. Alright, so we have to find where this merchant's gonna be. Outside of the town, um, so I'm trying to remember. I don't think I've ever gone to this person in this game, or in the randomizer here. So, locating him might be a bit of a challenge. Ow! Did not realize I was in line with a spike still. Um, please come back through here. So yeah, it's, it was totally not worth it. Just wanted to double check because I forgot what I saw it telling me that item was. Right. I thought there were a couple more hearts there. There probably are, but I am just, you know, not in the mindset to get hit by that orb of energy multiple times to try to look for them. Which would in turn, you know, make it kind of... It would in turn make it, you know, unbeneficial to grab them because I would have been losing probably more health than I was getting. And we found a fairy anyway, so... To all in all, it was a good moment. Really sorry, I have no idea where the dark forest or the dark world forest merchant is. Let me check this because the lumberjack hut shop is a totally different thing than this. So I'm going to keep being paused while I look at this again because this pauses it normally when I'm outside in another window. are you? Oh jeez, okay, so... I guess that's not in the... I don't remember if I checked the item for the having the ocarina and showing the forest sprite it here in the dark world, so we'll do that too here in a moment. But it's not even in Skullwoods, it seems, so that was slightly a wasted trip, I guess, aside from getting the fairy. Alright, so let's pull that. Oh, no, no, wrong button. Um, There we go. He kept trying to run instead of lift the rock. That was a bit weird. Okay, 
Okay, I'm back on the original file. So I don't remember if we got it with... Nope, we did not get the chest game there on this one. So there's that item again. <sighs> Freaking thief. Wish you could actually just like stab them and have it hurt. Alright, so let's see where this says it is. Okay, so it's west of the pyramid and east of the village. So let's open our map. So it's this building or this building? It's probably that building because I think that's the first building there. If I recall on this one, we also actually already taken the purple chest down to the guy in the light world, which again was not anything worthwhile. It was just more money if I remember. an empty house that way so we might have to actually go up out of the northwest yeah no northeast corner here to get to it let's see because i think this is a shop i never even knew existed in this game because you can come down right here Yep, there it is. Alright, so, in here, we can buy a red shield. And a bottle. So there's our last bottle, and there's the red shield. Let me move this over so it doesn't do that on So, where are you? Red shield, final bottle. Fairy. <laughs> but this will make going through Misery Mire much more bearable. Alright, so if I have to get the red shield that way again, I know where it is. Now, before we head back into Ice Palace, there was one more spot that I wanted to go to. I'm gonna head just in, or head into Outcast Village just to be slightly safer on switching over. Oh, whoops, that's the wrong item. <laughs> Switch over to the Light World. We're actually gonna go to where the upgrades are usually obtained. I think a bomb upgrade could be pretty handy with the way things have been in the last couple videos. After this one, before I do another one, I will look and see if there's something I overlooked that allows the um, sh the arrow and bomb upgrades to be randomized with everything else or not. Alright, so we come in here. Upgrade for the bombs because I ran out of them before. This is also where we have to be anyway. Alright, so now we'll actually head into the Ice Palace since we're already here. Let's try to get it finished this time. Don't worry about the timer being at 15 minutes. I'm gonna try to get this, at least this palace, finished first. And we did make a bit of progress. We got... Let me uncheck that. Um, we got the shield, the first shield upgrade to the red shield. And then, as much as most people don't can really consider too much of a prog progression move, um, we got an arrow and bomb upgrade. I think we already had one arrow upgrade. I'm not completely sure off the top of my head. 
but because I ran out of bombs, I definitely wanted a bomb upgrade. So I just got to go back and forth a little bit here to get to the right room. So this is going to be a little interesting. Alright, so we've got to waste arrows. I'll hit that button. Sorry, I just kind of lost track of talking there while focusing a little bit to get that done quicker. Alright, that bomb here. Well, technically we could use the cane of Sumaria to, to um, open this and just like once we came across the blocks there, I've triggered it to hit the switch. But then we had to use a bomb there to actually open. Ow, darn you. This thing. Then after we hit the switch, though, we would have had to use a bomb anyway to get down here. And this was the room that I got stuck on with no bombs. And because I had already hit and grabbed the items from the um, pots or whatever there, I couldn't get two more bombs to take them out, so... That little mishap with missing... running out of bombs was why I wanted... Ah, moving floor. Such a pain, and smacked by that guy now. Alright, good. Got that I needed to actually move over to this. Wanted to get a bomb upgrade just to make sure that I had a better chance of not running out. And since I had enough money, I figured I might as well grab... Okay, sorry then. And I figured since I had the money, I might as well grab the arrow upgrade that was there as well. There are more upgrades, and there's probably just the one of each that was in there. We're getting hit one way or another there. Let's move up here. I don't just know if I want to actually check the dungeon map. So that's where we are. It looks like I have been to that room to the right. I think the room up north is just kind of a trap that drops you to the room below. I, I know where I need to go, though, to get the one chest. Right. See him moving. I go back to the rod to take him out. If I recall, in this room, there's a spot of this cracked floor you can blow up. Yep, right there. Which will let you get the big chest down below. And we're still missing the key, of course. I might have had it in the other file, but not in this one at the moment. It's kind of sort of noxious how they follow you. So, I know there's a switch here somewhere. getting hit. Alright. It's one of these, isn't it? Yes. Ooh, wasn't sure if I was um, in between them enough to not get hit. That's the problem with ice physics in this, is that Oh, sorry. The problem is that like, you have to be completely stopped almost to actually there's our big key. You have to be completely stopped just about in order to actually get through the doors and everything when you're on ice. Which does make it relatively more difficult. I guess we've got to take out you. Oh no, we just needed a key, which we got one. switch, which opens these doors. Um, let's see, check out the map here. 
I don't think we need to go up to the top for anything, because I'm pretty sure I went in there already once when I fell down here, but check it anyway just to double check. Yeah, it's this room. Ugh, it's not what I was trying to do. Yeah, that is getting frustrating. Knock him out by moving him back further. Oof, I messed up the pattern there. There's a specific way you're supposed to move through those. And because it's been so long, I actually do not remember it off the top of my head. Alright, so. Just gonna move past you. Ah, uh, darn it. That just reaches the end there. You can get to these stairs on a sweep around and get down them without it catching up to you. But I actually not had the easiest time um, getting that timing down. So I was not going to risk it. I just waited for it to go back before attempting to go down. Blow the hole in the floor again here. And this time we can open the chest. Just a big key. I think we actually already have all of the treasures that were in here. But we had to come back. Well, we probably could have gone back, come back in through the other door there. Oh yes, we're gonna need bombs. Cause remember, we had this. Ah, oh, freaking heck! Aha! Yeah, remember we had that stealth ghost there that gave us a bit of trouble before. Ugh, when they're like right in the door like that, you can't actually hit them. The hook shot. We don't have the powder, so we can't hit you and get. and turn you into a fairy to get health back. Now, the vanilla boss of this dungeon is actually one we haven't seen yet, still, as well, so. Like the Swamp Palace, this could also be a vanilla boss. do, take the Rod of Sumaria, put a block on there, okay, yeah, this is the way to the boss, grab that skull and throw it, pull the statue out, smack the mole with the rock, and which boss are we going to have here? Vanilla! Okay. So we're gonna the fire rod. Ow. Thankfully, I do have a blue potion there if I need health and mana. Alright, now we don't actually need the rod. Ice chunks will fall right on me, so I can't actually even hit them. Alright, I'm gonna need this. More so for my health and the magic. Oh, I forgot exactly how annoying this boss can be with the falling ice. Nice, we got one of them down. You need to move away from me. Man, it's like when they're looking at you, they're dropping the ice on you. Good, there's the second one down. And there's the third one where we took another hit. Figures. What do you have? The compass. Not the important item, but that is. Just hit the mic trying to... Adjust my hand around and make sure my headset was on decently. So if there's a loud bump there, I'm sorry about that. Alright, so there's our second to last crystal. Uh, yeah, I want to go here to check which one that is, and that was the first one. Alright, so the 
that's what I call it, if you want to do. You just use the mirror to get out of there. Alright. So now the ice palette's done, and another arrow and bomb upgrade, or well, the first bomb upgrade. Looks like I just found, I might have found an arrow upgrade elsewhere someplace. those out of the way and the ice palace defeated we are left with one more crystal before we can take on Ganon because we are already up to 25 minutes from getting through the rest of the dungeon and fighting the boss this is gonna have to be where this episode ends for now and in the next one we will actually go through misery Meyer since I wanted the she red shield before going in there because it makes it a lot easier with all the whiz robes and the fireball launchers and everything that are in there a bit of an easier time getting through. And aside from that, after that, it's right to Ganon's castle, essentially. Or, well, it's Ganon's tower in this one. And then ultimately after that, we'll be taking on Ganon himself in the Pyramid of Power. So this is why I want to stop here back at the house where it's safe, because it's kind of right there from where we were walking up. And that will be our plan of attack for the next one as we um, continue finishing off everything to beat this randomizer. So I hope everyone has been enjoying this. Feel free to subscribe, like, put a like on the video or leave a comment if you want. And I shall see you all when we finish off Misery Mire, hopefully in the next one without taking too much of the time limit there. And maybe even start Ganon's Tower. So until then, everybody, goodbye and have a good day.